There, there are so many ways in which society is affected by crime and violence, and what we wanted to look at are the ways that society has responded and in ways that society has shown resilience in trying to um, take on problems of crime and violence. And um, we look specifically at certain sectors of civil society, the business sector, uh, the media, um, youth uh, gang and, uh, or sorry, youth, youth uh, gang prevention programs and other kinds of youth outreach programs uh, with the idea that civil society and, and, the, and the social fabric are really important part of the, um, the solution to problems of crime and violence. And Mexico has, uh, unfortunately, uh, a, at least historically, a very weak civil society. Not a lot of organizations um, that operate independently from the government um, and, and a weak political party system uh, in terms of at least opposition parties. So we were very interested in looking for those those signs that that um, those signs of life in, in Mexico's civic culture. and. Fortunately, we have found some very significant efforts, uh, particularly at the local level, on the part of business people, entrepreneurs, um, and also um, other kinds of social and civic organizations to mobilize and find ways to combat violence. Uh, for example, in Tijuana, you see uh, the business community coming together every uh, uh, two years to do a, a major uh, citywide event called Tijuana Innovadora, which is in a, a way of, f uh, f means Tijuana innovates or innovative Tijuana. And it focuses on Tijuana as a creative city, as a city of innovation and, and business. And it, it's been a way for the, for the city of Tijuana to rebuild its brand, rebuild its image, uh, and overcome the violence. Uh, it, the, in many communities that are affected by violence, it's very difficult at, at a moment of high homicide rates and assaults for communities to somehow come out and, and stop the violence. But where communities important is both in preventing violence and in the aftermath of violence, re repairing the damage. And I think Tijuana has um, really taken some important steps to repairing the damage. And we've seen that in a couple of other places. Ciudad Juarez is now beginning to recover uh, from and, and uh, reckon with uh, the, the very violent period that it went through. Um, so our project is really trying to find the ways for um, th that civil society can um, can either avoid falling into the kind of situation we saw, we've seen in many places in Mexico, or recover from it, and the ways as well that uh, Mexican the Mexican government or the U.S. government can get involved in stimulating um, or assisting civic efforts.